Okay, uh, now let's calculate the solubility of calcium hydroxide in grams per litre. So we know how many moles dissolve, um, and or rather moles per litre dissolve, and we're going to turn this into grams per litre. So just flicking back to our results, we had concentration of calcium ions at equilibrium was 0.011 molar. So we had concentration of calcium ions at equilibrium was 0.011 molar. That means if you were to put some calcium hydroxide into one litre of water, you would get not 0.01 mole of calcium ions. And if you recall, if we just go back to the equation again, the molar ratio between the stoichiometric ratio between the calcium hydroxide solid and the calcium ions is 1 to 1. So if we got 0.011 moles of calcium ions, it means that we must have dissolved the same amount. Uh, so to turn this into a solubility in grams per litre, all we need to do is change this into grams, because if we know that 0.011 moles of calcium hydroxide dissolved in one litre, then converting this into grams will give us solubility in grams per litre. So we just need to use the relationship that uh, mass equals moles times molar mass. And uh, we know our moles, it's 0.011. And the molar mass of calcium hydroxide, if you go and work it out, is 74.12 grams per mole. Uh, and if we calculate that, that gives us a solubility for calcium hydroxide of 0 0.0. 0.82 grams per litre. So it's not particularly soluble. Less than a gram will dissolve per litre before you get uh, equilibrium. Okay, that's all for now.